Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. It's unbelievable, but we've reached the end, or almost the end, of a great 2018 Los Angeles Religious Education Congress from Anaheim, California. And you know, it's time to relive some of the highlights of the events, the concerts and liturgies that we've had. We started a Friday morning, you know, full of jubilee with a great opening event where we focused on overcoming adversity and suffering. Those stories of people that had gone through tribulation but had been able to rise up and they entered the light of Christ with new beginnings even after those really harsh storms that they had experienced. We went into um, a great talk, great keynote uh, speech by Father Chris, where he talked about crossing the desert and awakening as the beloved church, and a church that is not afraid to enter the conversation of suffering to those that we minister to. And of course, suffused throughout that entire portion of the open event was that song, Be Not Afraid, because it is our call to be courageous and bold and full of conviction, especially when we face adversity. Then, of course, we went on to um, that great African spiritual, We've Come This Far By Faith. And really, it told us not to go back, especially when we're feeling the harshness of challenge and overcoming those moments when we want to drop the towel and give in and it was really buoyant for all of us and then we basically were uh, uh, basically impulsed and encouraged to rise up and of course we can't uh, overlook the great liturgies starting with Friday where we had the mass of care of the earth in the Filipino tradition and we were delighted to have Cardinal Luis Stagle who is the Archbishop Cardinal of Manila in the Philippines. The music was great. Uh, our brother Ricky Manala was directing. And something that was really awesome this year is that we had local Filipino composers contribute to the various parts of the liturgy. Then on Saturday, um, celebrating St. Patrick, we had St. Patrick the Immigrant Saint Mass presided by Father David Loftus from our Archdiocese here in Los Angeles. And you know, one thing that I didn't know is that St. Patrick was a resilient saint who had endured human trafficking and was very enamored with his home country of Ireland. And so, you know, it was a great liturgy. Um, and then we also had evening concerts. We started Friday night with Ivan Diaz and his friends delighting us in Latino rhythms and traditions with his friends Santiago Fernandez, Estela and Rudy Lopez, Anna Betancourt, and a number of other band members here from Los Angeles. Then on Saturday, again, you know, celebrating St. Patrick's Day, our brother Liam Lawton and his friends gave us an awesome liturgy. and. One thing that really stood out to us is that our, our beloved sister Edith Prendergast and father, um, and actually Liam Lawton, um, had a little something for the audience that they weren't prepared for, and they danced the Irish jig. And I believe we have a clip of that for your enjoyment. <laughs> It's fun to see Sister Edith having fun and so you know that's the great thing about this Congress family is that we enjoy one another and we celebrate those moments that are special day, and talking about special moments I have my brother Joe Melendres Joseph Anthony Melendres thank you here with me, um, me. you are the the bastion holder of Youth Day Man. tell us a little bit about this Youth year you, you were on fire I heard starting from the morning Praise Jesus, the Holy Spirit. Yeah, so basically, uh, Youth Day 2018, uh, if you miss it, wow, what an incredible event. Hopefully next year you can come through. Our theme this year was Dare to Believe. So you had 13,000 plus young teens in here coming from all over. 
not just California, but all over the country. Um, I had some, I did two sessions, and I had uh, students from Hawaii in there. Um, wow. People, are, they, they go as far as they can for their faith, and it was it was very encouraged here to dare to believe. And we had uh, our keynote by Katie Prejean McGrady, um, Archbishop Gomez did our mass, and if you didn't know, all the youth have been working a year to plan Youth Day. So it's, it's by youth for youth. So the visions, the ideas, the themes, everything comes together for God's glory by these teens. So that says a lot for our youth today and our church. Definitely. One thing that really stood out to me in the closing song is that you had, you know, young people in the band. So like even the cellists and yes. the violins were all young An people. Entire choir, all musicians, all their praise and God having rehearsals for months on end uh, just, just to glorify God. So everyone coming together, daring each other to believe, to go even further in their faith. And it was a, it was a great day for Jesus. And Joe, you travel all over the country and the world, yes. uh, you know, ministering to youth. What stands out about the youth here in LA that, that sets them apart from anywhere else in the country? Well, whenever you bring two or three together in Jesus' name, it's always a party for Jesus, amen? And that's the thing, so it, we, I say it's one of the biggest Catholic parties, family gatherings in, in the world right here, right now. So with that spirit, with that togetherness, with that unitedness to dare to believe, to rise up in our faith, we're, man, we're, we're, we're ready and energized for another year until we get to Congress next year. But we really sent forth from this day to go you know, share the good news forever. And one of those moments really today from this uh, lunchtime concert mm. where you had the opportunity to join Valimar Chance and yes. the Crenshaws in that, you know, thematic rise up moment. How yeah. was that like today? Well, our theme was still we rise and it was talking about overcoming suffering, mm. overcoming obstacles that no matter what, how many times you might fall down, that you'll get back up and you will rise. And we ended with Oh Happy Day, which is a beautiful celebration um, together and having everybody sing. So what a special, special time. It's definitely a special time, and you know, this this Congress is such a remarkable enterprise, and of course, it's not one unilateral, you know, effort. It mm -hmm. is really the collective effort of a lot of people that pour their heart and soul into this event year after year. 187 speakers wow. this year, over 400 volunteers. My goodness. And, you know, we really celebrate um, culture here to the highest degree, and so, you know, this year we had English, Spanish, and Vietnamese workshops um, because we wanted to really cater to the church yeah. and one thing that's very unique about the Church of Los Angeles Joe is that every Sunday we celebrate mass in over 50 languages Boom. and we have Everywhere. 110 identified cultures in the archdiocese wow. and 57 of the world's 195 nations are represented here in this archdiocese with first the highest first and second generation concentrations amazing so it really speaks to this Catholic you know, church that is vibrant, multicultural, multilingual, yeah. multi-ethnic, and, and we really celebrate it and elevate it to the highest degree. And so we encourage you, if you've never taken the opportunity to come to Los Angeles for this experience, next year awaits you. Go ahead and, you know, start saving your money now. Yeah, but... if, you, if, if you save $10 a week, <laughs> That's this five hundred and twenty dollars. Alex Congress budget. Yeah. So yeah, big, exactly. big question. You big know, question. When are the dates for the next year? The dates for next year are already set. Thank you for asking. Cool. You say is March twenty first, and then the adult days are March twenty second to the twenty fourth. Oh, wow. Twenty nineteen. Lock it in. Lock it in. I think we got a. We're going into mass right yes, now. Yes, we've so. reached that moment of quietude and stillness. Yes. And so we transmit that spirituality to you. Um, for Joe Melendres um, and for the entire um, staff that puts this together, you know, my, my good buddy uh, Dan House, for Zach and Rick and John and everybody. Yes. Thank you so much for Tune joining in. us and we hope to see you next year. Stay tuned to this for this amazing closing liturgy. God bless God you. God bless you. And rise up. Rise up.
and for peace you are not alone for you are God's own together we sing and we proclaim all are welcome in this place behold love's amazing grace all are welcome, all are welcome. Bring your hopes, bring your dreams. Mercy flows and love redeems. All are welcome, all belong. Welcome all who are forgotten, excluded and dignified.
Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My brothers and sisters, peace be with you. With your 
Welcome to our uh, closing liturgy of uh, Congress 2018. Rise, levanta, rise up, levantate. A spe uh, special welcome to our brother bishops that are here with us. Y una, una bienvenida especial a Monseñor Gregorio Rosa Chávez, uh, uh, su eminencia, Cardenal Arzobispo, Obispo Auxiliar de San Salvador. Bienvenido, señor Cardenal. So we start our celebration opening our hearts to the grace of God, acknowledging our sins, and preparing ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess, Almighty God, to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have heard this sin, in my thoughts and in my words, in Honakitan. On us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. By your help, we beseech you, Lord our God, that we walk eagerly in that same charity with which, out of love for the world, your Son handed himself over to death. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Lectura del libro del profeta Ezequiel Esto dice el Señor Pueblo mío, yo mismo abriré sus sepulcros Los haré salir de ellos y los conduciré de nuevo a la tierra de Israel Cuando abra sus sepulcros y los saque de ellos, pueblo mío Ustedes dirán que yo soy el Señor. Entonces les infundiré mi espíritu y vivirán. Los estableceré en su tierra y ustedes sabrán que yo, el Señor, lo dije y lo cumplí. Palabra de Dios.
With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Perdónanos, Señor, y viviremos. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Trích thư Thánh Phaolô Tông Đồ gửi tín hữu Roma. 
Anh chị em thân mến Những kẻ sống theo xác thịt Thì không thể đẹp lòng Chúa Còn anh chị em Anh chị em không sống theo xác thịt Nhưng sống theo tinh thần Nếu thật sự thánh thần Chúa Ở trong anh chị em Nếu ai không có thánh thần của Đức Kitô Thì kẻ ấy không thuộc về người nhưng nếu Đức Kitô ở trong anh chị em, cho dù thân xác đã chết vì tội, nhưng tinh thần vẫn sống vì Đức Công Chính. Và nếu Thánh Thần của Đấng đã làm cho Đức Giêsu Kitô từ cõi chết sống lại ở trong anh chị em, thì Đấng đã làm cho Đức Giêsu Kitô từ cõi chết sống lại cũng cho phạ xác phàm hay chết của anh chị em được sống nhờ thánh thần người ngự trong anh chị em the word of the lord Señor Jesucristo, honor y gloria a ti, Señor Jesucristo. Honor y gloria a ti, Señor Jesucristo, honor y gloria a ti, Señor Nosotros no vivimos solamente de pan, sino de toda palabra que viene de la boca de Dios. Honor y gloria a ti, Señor Jesucristo. Honor y gloria a ti, Señor Jesucristo. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Now a man was ill, Lazarus from Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. Mary was the one who had anointed the Lord with perfumed oil and dried his feet with her hair. It was her brother Lazarus who was ill. 
So the sisters send word to Jesus, saying, Master, the one you love is ill. When Jesus heard this, he said, This illness is not to end in death, but is for the glory of God, that the Son of God might be glorified through it. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. So after hearing that Lazarus was sick, he remained for two days in the place he was. After this, he said to his disciples, Let us go to Judea. Rabbi, the Jews were just trying to stone you, and you want to go back there? Are there not twelve hours in a day? If one walks during the day, he does not stumble, because he sees the light of this world. But if one walks at night, he stumbles, because the light is not in him. Our friend Lazarus is asleep, but I am going to awaken him. So the disciples said to him, Master, if he is asleep, he will be saved. But Jesus was talking about his death, while they thought that he meant ordinary sleep. So then Jesus said to them plainly, Lazarus has died, and I am glad for you that I was not there, that you may believe. Let us go to him. So Thomas, called Didymus, said to his fellow disciples, Let us also go to die with him. Rise up, live on the day. You will see the glory of God. When Jesus arrived, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. Now Bethany was near Jerusalem, only about two miles away, and many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them about their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him, but Mary sat at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now, I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give to you. Your brother will rise. I know he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me even if he dies, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord. I have come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. My When she had said this, Martha went and called her sister Mary secretly, saying, The teacher is here and is asking for you. As soon as Mary heard this, she rose quickly and went to him, for Jesus had not yet come into the village, but was still where Martha had met him. So when the Jews who were with her in the house comforting her saw Mary get up quickly and go out, they followed her presuming that she was going to the tomb to weep there. When Mary came to where Jesus was and saw him, she fell at his feet and said to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who had been with her weeping, 
he became profoundly perturbed. You laid him. They said, Sir, come and see. And Jesus wept. So the Jews said, See how he loved him. But some of them said, Could not the one who opened the eyes of the blind man have done something so that this man would not have died? So Jesus, perturbed again, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone lay across it. Take away the stone. Lord, by now there will be a stench. He has been dead for four days. Did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? So they took away the stone, and Jesus raised his eyes. Father, I thank you for hearing me. I know that you always hear me. But because of the crowd here, I have said this, that they may believe that you sent me. And when he had said this, he cried out in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. So The dead man came out, tied hand and foot with burial bands, and his face was wrapped in a cloth. Untie him and let him go. Now many of the Jews who came to Mary and had seen what he had done began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, once again we had a great weekend, didn't we? Yeah. 
It is such a joy to see your faith and your commitment to God. It gives me strength and inspires me. So thank you for your witness, your service to the church, and for sharing your faith with me and with all of us these past few days. Thank you to you all. Una gran alegría estar con todos ustedes este fin de semana. Gracias por su amor de Dios, su testimonio y su servicio a la iglesia. The powerful readings uh, of today's uh, liturgy remind us that it will, be, it will not be long until Easter Sunday. The beautiful gospel story about Lazarus and his sisters is a story about you and me and about the promise of salvation that Jesus brings. In the gospel today, Jesus puts this question to Martha. He says to her, your brother will rise. But then he challenges her. He asks her, do you believe this? And my brothers and sisters, Jesus is asking that same question today to you and to me. Do you believe that Jesus Christ can raise out our brothers and sisters from the dead? Do we believe that he can take away the stone of their hardened hearts and give them a new heart and a new spirit? Do we believe that Jesus Christ can call to our brothers and sisters just as he called Lazarus? Rise up, levántate. Do we believe that he can untie all the knots that tangle and bite our lives and set us free to truly live as God created us to live? La pregunta que Jesús le hizo a Marta en el Evangelio de hoy nos la hace también a cada uno de nosotros. Jesús le dice a Marta, tu hermano resucitará. Y luego le pregunta, ¿crees tú esto? Misma pregunta que nos hace a nosotros. ¿Creemos de verdad que Jesús llama a nuestros hermanos y hermanas del mismo modo que llamó a Lázaro? Lázaro, sale ahí, levántate. And my dear brothers and sisters, I know you believe this. This is why you are here. This is why you have chosen to commit your lives to serving Jesus and the mission of his church. We are all here because we believe what Martha believes. We all share in her beautiful confession of faith. Yes, Lord, I have come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. We know that Jesus is the one who was, who was promised by the prophet Ezekiel in that, that first reading we heard today. I will open your graves and have you rise from there. Jesus is the one who is coming. But we are the ones who must bring him into our world. Jesus Christ comes into the world through you and through me. Nuestra, ident nuestra identidad y misión como cristianos, católicos, es traer a Jesús al mundo en el que vivimos. A través de nuestra vida, de nuestras acciones diarias, estamos llamados a proclamar su misericordia, la hermosa verdad del plan de amor de Dios para cada persona. Now, I want to share some words on the example of one holy uh, woman of our times, the Venerable Madeleine del Brel. I have been reading Madeleine del Brel and thinking, talking about her witness for a long time. But I started reflecting on her again recently because at the start of Lent, Pope Francis declared her venerable. Hoy quiero compartir con ustedes el ejemplo de una santa mujer que está en proceso de canonización 
y que recientemente fue declarada venerable por el Papa Francisco. Su nombre es Madeleine del Brel. And I've been talking about her a lot recently, and as a matter of fact, um, this past Thursday for the uh, Youth Day, at the homily, I talked about her. So you were here for that day, then you know everything about her. <laughs> But I've been talking about her because I believe she's an important witness for us about what it means to have proclaimed Christ in our time. She has a great story. As some of you may know, she lived near Paris, France, and she died in 1964. When she was a young girl, Madeleine was artistic, a poet, and she loved to go to Paris and go out dancing with her friends. Not bad, eh? At age 15, she lost her faith. She described herself as a strict atheist. She said that every day for her, the world seemed more and more absurd. She even wrote a kind of manifesto when she was 17. It was called, God is dead, long live dead. It was scary stuff that she was writing. But Madeleine did find God. Or as she liked to say, God found her. She heard the voice of Jesus and he led her to see holiness and to continue his mission in the street, in streets of Paris, living among the poor and the ordinary workers. Con su vida sencilla y su servicio a los demás, servicio a Dios y a los demás, Madeleine nos enseña que todos estamos llamados a ser misioneros en nuestros hogares, en donde trabajamos, en la escuela y en el lugar donde vivimos. But her personal experience as an atheist helped her to understand, to understand the world that we are living in. And through her eyes, we can start to understand the pain of so many people who can no longer hear God's voice or feel his love. She said that in those years, when she was lost and without God, at the time, and I quote, at the time I would have given the whole world just to know why I was in it. This is such a sad, beautiful line. And as you know, from your own ministries, this sadly describes the reality of so many people in our society today. We are living in times when many people have lost their why. They no longer know the answer to basic questions. Why do we get up, do we get up in the morning? What purpose are we living for? But my dear brothers and sisters, you know, and I know, that the human heart is made for God. So this must be our mission as Christians, as Catholics, our mission as the church. We are called to speak to the hearts of our neighbors. We are called to tell them what every heart longs to know the good news about who they are and why they are in the world. We are called to tell them to rise up, levántate. So sigamos buscando el rostro de Jesús y sigamos tratando de identificarnos con el ejemplo de su vida. Pidamos que nuestro amor por Jesús crezca tanto que podamos decir a todos, levántate. Let us be the voice of Jesus Christ to the people who are Lazarus in our time. By the witness of our lives, by our words and actions, let us help Jesus 
to tear down all the walls of death so that our brothers and sisters can rise up and live in the light of his freedom and love. And may our blessed Mother Mary watch over all of us and keep us close to the heart of Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I now invite the elect who will be baptized these sisters this Easter to come forward with their godparents. On the fifth Sunday of Lent, we have what is called the third scrutiny. And the presider has now invited the elect with their godparents to come forward and stand before the celebrant. He will first address the assembly of the faithful, inviting them to pray in silence and to ask that the elect will be given a spirit of repentance, a sense of sin, and the true freedom of the children of God. And let all the baptized now stand. Let us bow our heads and pray for these members of the elect, that they may be given a spirit of true repentance, that they may rise up, rise up for the tombs of their captivity into the living freedom of the children of God. Elect of God, kneel down and pray. Let us pray for these elect whom God has chosen. May the grace of the sacraments conform them to Christ in his passion and resurrection and enable them to triumph over the bitter fate of death. by God in love. De la violencia en nuestros hogares, en nuestras calles y en nuestro mundo. Vì sự tham lam và đam mê tiền bạc của con người. Of hearts cold and hardened. De nuestra obstinada tendencia de aferrarnos al pasado. Call us forth, O oh Lord. from our tombs. De la competencia cruel y del éxito egoísta. Vì những sự mù quáng và hận thù, dù lớn hay nhỏ. 
of harassment and assault, del incesto, violación y todo abuso. Vì sự nghiện rượu và mọi loại nghiện khác. Call us forth, O Lord. From our tombs, vì sự chia rẽ bất tận và sợ hãi cực độ, of falsehoods and selfishness, the indifferencia hacia el sufrimiento de otros, vì chấp nhận những điều dối trá và bất công, of refusal to welcome refugees and immigrants. Call us forth, O Lord. Father of life, God not to the dead but of the living, you send your son to proclaim life, to snatch us from the realm of death, and to lead us to the resurrection. Free these elect from the dead dealing power of the spirit of evil, so they may bear witness to their new life in the risen Christ, for he lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. People of God, stretch out your hands over this elect and pray. For this special scrutiny, the presider, because it is convenient, is laying his hands on each of the elect as part of the exorcism. Lord Jesus, by raising Lazarus from the dead, you show that you came that we might have life and have it more abundantly. Free from the grasp of death, those who await your life-giving sacrifice, and deliver them from the spirit of corruption. To your spirit, who gives life, fill them with faith, hope, and charity, that they may live with you always in the glory of your resurrection. For your Lord, forever and ever. Amen. My dear elect, please stand. My dear elect, the church gathered here now sends you forth to reflect more deeply upon the word of God, which you have shared with us today. We send you with our blessing and love and look forward with eager joy to that day when you will rise up from the font of living water and join us around the table of the Eucharist. Go in peace. The presider is now providing the Book of Gospels to one of the elect. It is very symbolic, and they go forth dismissed as catechumens and elect to the assembly as they continue their process of Christian initiation. El presidente en estos momentos ha otorgado el libro de los evangelios 
a un representante de los catecúmenos y de los elegidos y ahora este, los está despidiendo para que continúen su proceso de formación en este proceso de iniciación cristiana. It's very symbolic. The entire church has prayed for them and we omit general intercessions because the church worldwide gathers and prays with the elect. Este día, toda la iglesia celebra a los catecúmenos y a los elegidos, ora por ellos y los envía al mundo a que sean portadores de la Buena Nueva. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty. The gift bearers at this afternoon's Mass are women of Dolores Mission Parish in Boyle Heights, who bear gifts of peace, reconciliation, and compassion to their communities. God's peace Will the innocents be victims And the violence increase Will the words our God has spoken
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Hear us, Almighty God, and having instilled in your servants the teachings of the Christian faith, graciously purify them by the working of this sacrifice. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is to be right and just, our dear and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as true man, he wept for Lazarus, his friend, and as Eternal God raised him from the tomb, just as, taking pity on the human race, he leads us by sacred mysteries to new life. Through him, the host of angels adore your majesty, and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give light to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so from the rising of the sun to the setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, until you come, until you come, until you come again. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death.
until you come again. Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose age you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we were nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may attain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. The sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray with Bishop Van, with the order of bishops and all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family we have summoned before you in your compassion O merciful father gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world to our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life give kind admittance to your kingdom there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord through whom we bestow on the world all that is good Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. By the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us bless one another with a sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
pescar en mí nos pidió, mucho fruto darán en mi nombre y estaré siempre en su corazón. Hemos oído tu voz. I'm 
Jesu ame malia alo ae kana kamiano alo ae alo ae alo ae alo ae ke akua Alohae na buvai, o ano Yesu a me malia. Alohae kana kamiano. Alohae, alohae. still to live let us walk on the path of life with holiness we are ready Do you? 
Damiano Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that we may always be counted among the members of Christ, in whose body and blood we have communion, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for a moment. Thank you. Be not afraid. No, I can't do that again, can I? Okay. Did you have a great weekend? ¿Cómo fue tu fin de semana? Primero, yo quiero dar gracias a todos por su participación y tu dedicación a servir. Y ustedes dan mucho a este ministerio. And mil gracias por todo su amor. So I want to thank you all especially for your participation and dedication and support of religious the Religious Education Congress. <laughs> it's, been a, it's been a whole week, so come on. <laughs> I especially would like to acknowledge the, the work of several people who made this wonderful weekend a great joy. So first I would like to recognize uh, for Youth Day, our youth ministry uh, with uh, Victoria, the coordinator of Youth Day, Katie, our division coordinator, and Kelly, the coordinator there. So thank you for all of your hard work for Youth Day. I'd like to thank our committees and our teams, our liturgy committee, the registration committee, our, our congress committee, our blue, uh, the teams of the Blue Angels and the, the Yellow Jackets. I'd like to thank all of our speakers and our exhibitors for providing uh, so, many, so much resource and wisdom and understanding for us. For our environment, I would like to uh, recognize Linda Reem, Valerie McRae, and Joseph Shepard. Uh, for our production, Janelle Friedrichsen and Maria Alderete. Our video cam work, John Arnold and the crew. For the sound, Drew Aldridge and the audio tech crew. For Bright Ideas, John Vasquez and his team. Our live streaming team, Dan House and, uh, and all of his crew. Our live stream moderator for Friday morning, we had Father Gregorio Hidalgo. And for today's uh, liturgies, we had Alex Vargas as our moderators. Uh, for our sacristy crew, our chief sacristan, Brian Custer, and all of the sacristans, Marianne Nguyen, and all the masters of ceremonies, and all of their staff, especially for the students of Loyola Marymount University and Mount St. Mary University, thank you so much for all of your work here. To my brother priests, I would like to thank you for all of your contributions over the weekend, especially for uh, the offering the Sacrament of Confession and your presence. It was truly a, a great uh, witness for our, the army of deacons and wives that helps us throughout uh, all the weekend, especially in our liturgies today, so thank you. Um, our ministers of liturgical movement, uh, led by John West and Monica Luther and their, all their groups, so thank you. Our liturgy coordinators, especially uh, Margaret Traxler, our day coordinator. Uh, for our, all of our musicians and our choir, thank you for all of your wonderful ministry. I especially would uh, like to recognize John Flaherty, the director of music and the chair of our liturgy committee. Mary Janice, who coordinated the musicians and other materials for all of our various liturgies, thank you. For our wonderful cantors, uh, Linda and Lorenzo, thank you, and all those who assisted with cantering. Great, great work. The wonderful theme song for this year is Stella Garcia Lopez and her husband Ro Rodolfo Lopez, thank you.
For our interpreters, we acknowledge and we appreciate the very visual and inspiring and dedicated work of our team of interpreters for the deaf and hard of hearing, uh, participants who also yearn to grow as Catholics. Thank you so much. Thank you. Excellent. Our mobility crew, Rob and his team, helping people get to their locations. Uh, thank you so much for this wonderful service. Our arena team, we want to thank you for all our arena team, um, for those who, uh, who uh, helped keep this arena moving really uh, smoothly. We'd like to thank Ellie and the women of Dolores Mission for their witness and their ministry and for helping us uh, prepare our altar this, morning, this afternoon. To the young women at the Ventura County Correctional Facility, the young women of this, uh, of this youth prison counted out the more than 30,000 hosts used for our liturgies this weekend. As you receive communion today, I hope that you would think and keep them in prayer as they were able to contribute to our, our, our weekend. So thank you for them and for what they contributed. Before the final uh, uh, acknowledgments, I also want to acknowledge in a special way um, Father Luigi Sanotto, who is a Camboni missionary priest and who has for years presented at Congress but also served in all kinds of ways here in the Archdiocese. Quiero reconocer al Padre Luigi Sanotto, un misionero de Camboni, que ha servido a la arquidiócesis en varias formas de crecimiento y formación y también es que ayudaba a este Congreso. Uh, nosotros hemos uh, escuchado que él falleció uh, hace uh, un día y pues queremos honrar todo su ministerio y lo que él ofrecía a nosotros. So we heard recently that Father Luigi Sanoto passed away recently in the last day or so. so. We just want to acknowledge and recognize his wonderful ministry for our event and for the Archdiocese. So thank you, Lord, for Father Luigi. <clears throat> Finally, I would like to especially recognize uh, probably the best staff ever in the world, um, the ORE staff, especially Paulette, Jan, Joanna, and Natalie, and Chris Krause, and all of you who really worked so hard to make this a great event. So I'd like to thank my staff. If you could please stand so we can acknowledge you. I also thank their spouses and families as they sort of become disowned, you know, over the weekend, you know. So if they're not working here, they're, you know, their poor things are disowned on the side. I, so I apologize. Uh, finally, I would like to thank uh, especialmente a su eminencia, Cardinal Rosa Chavez. Thank you so much for your continued support of Congress. Uh, just your, your, your words uh, of uh, support over this whole weekend has been such a blessing. And thank you so much. And, I am truly honored by your work and your ministry. You inspire us to do our best for you so that you can go out and bring Christ to others, to the world. So we hope that you experience Christ here and that you can bring Christ to the world who calls you out of the tombs and into new life. God bless you. Que Dios me bendiga y cuides en el camino. And God bless you and t safety on the road home. God bless. I, I also would like to especially recognize the le leadership of uh, Chris Baisuros, Director of the Office of Religious Education of the Archdiocese. Please stand for the final blessing. I hope that we all uh, continue reflecting on the beautiful message of today's liturgy, just thinking of the passage of the Gospel uh, Jesus weeping for Lazarus and asking Martha, do you believe? And Martha saying, yes, Lord, I believe. And then uh, Jesus uh, asking Lazarus to rise up. Ojalá que sigamos meditando en el, en el pasaje tan bonito del Evangelio de la Misa de hoy. Uh, Jesús que llora por Lázaro, Jesús que le pregunta a Martha si cree, ella que dice que sí. Y luego Jesús resucitando a Lázaro, sal de ahí. That's our beautiful mission. 
That's what we are all about, because, uh, bringing Jesus to the people of our town. Let's get excited about that. Uh, estamos listos, as we were praying. Are we ready? Yes. All right. Let's do it and see you next year, uh, Congress 2019. God bless you all. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. Bless, O oh Lord, your people who long for the gift of your mercy and grant that what at your prompting they desire they may receive by your generous gift through Christ our oh Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We have been nourished by God's word and Holy Eucharist. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. your trust in God. If you walk in the light of Christ, you will not stumble nor fall. Even if the world wants to stone you, fight for justice and peace. If you give your life for Christ, you will not die but live.
the glory of God. Oh, yes, Lord, we believe that we shall see the glory of God. Sí, Señor, creemos que veremos la gloria de Dios. Oh, sí, Señor, creemos que veremos la gloria de Dios. Lord, we believe. Yes, Lord. 